to me is togetherness, I think. It's more not necessarily who you grew up with or whose family you were born into. It's more or less, you know, who you surround yourself with and who you love. A group of people who are there for each other no matter what and who love each other and help each other through thick and thin and it doesn't necessarily have to be through blood. It could be anything, like my friends are definitely, I would consider them my family. It's the people you fight with the most, <laughs> the people you love the most, <laughs> the people who, like, I mean, there's, it's funny, I, I think there's a lot of time, like blood makes you family, but also there's people, there's friends that are with you through thick and thin that are probably closer than family as well. Yeah, and, your chosen family. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Oh, I love my family. I love my family. That, uh, days aren't always easy, but like I said, I would not trade them for the world. I would not trade the decision um, that I've made for the world. I would not trade the past that we've gone down for the world. I would not trade the good days, the bad days um, for, for anything. A family is um, that one of your f my family that loves you and feeds you and cake takes care of you. Group of people who love you and take care of you forever. Family is a group of people who who lives in your like house. Your siblings or um or people really close to you. Family consists of comes in all different shapes, sizes and shapes in different forms. Um, my family of course came together through adoption. I was able to um, be a parent through adoption. I feel good that I have a family. I love my family. I'm grateful that God placed me in a position to be their parent. I'm grateful for God um, allowing uh, and trusting me to take care of them. I can't imagine loving a child more than I love my own. And none of them came from me. I didn't have any of them. And just looking at them sometimes, as bad as they can be, just looking at them can make, bring tears to my eyes, can make me cry. I love my family because they love me and they care about me and they are always there for me. Adoption is finding your real family, the ones that love you and care for you and give you the things that you need in life. Adoption means forever to me. Adoption means just putting the stamp of nobody can take them away from me again. Nobody can say they're not mine. A family can take care of you. You'll be left with a foster family. And if they adopt you, they, well, that's your family. When you, um, well, take care, um, of a foster child, but like, it's not like he moved on to a different, he or her moved on, moved on to a different house. He stays with you. When someone gets adopted, and they get taken care of. Joining a family and having a home and having something that I probably couldn't have had before in a previous situation. So I definitely am very thankful for being adopted. I mean like when Somebody picks you up and then then if the owner can't take care of you, you like adopt them. It means a lot. It's special because <laughs> it is one of the greatest things that you'll ever do in life. Um, I went into adoption, I went into the process um, on my own personal things I wanted to adopt. It was something that I wanted to do. It was all, you know, I wanted to adopt, I wanted another child, something like that. But it has been life-changing and I never even, um, even, I guess, considered or, I wouldn't say considered or maybe even um, thought out the whole process of how I would be changing another child's life or whatever like that because, I mean, to me, adoption or whatever is taking a child, it's just, you take it on as your own. And so and that's how it's always been. And so it's just been life-changing um, and I wouldn't change it for the world. I would not. <laughs> What brought me to a decision to adopt was just looking at families. Um, I had, I have come to realize that my head, I had angels for parents. And I start seeing as a foster parent that there are so many children that have so little. And I always felt like we had so much. 
and I had my nephew at the time, and we wanted to build a family. I'm a single mom, so I wanted to build a family. And I thought the best way is to help children that are already in the world who need somebody to love them and care for them. And I felt that we had that to offer. I think for us, it's, it was a different uh, scenario where it was something we felt like we were supposed to do, something that we felt called to do, more than it was something that we, we, we had to do or felt like we um, wanted to do from the beginning. It was something that we just, from the day one, uh, for whatever reason, we felt like we were called to do it. We felt like we were equipped to do it. And, and so we knew it was going to be a challenge, but we are also willing to take on the challenge to, to make it happen. Yeah. Before we were adopted by Terry, I felt like, kind of like scared because I didn't know who she really was. It was like the first time meeting her and it was kind of odd because it's a new person and I was only four. And my caseworker called and said, we have a little girl, we only wanted one. We wanted one child. And I said, she said, and I have a four year old for you because that was within my range. I was looking for like four to eight years old. And she said, we have a four year old for you. And I said, you do? And I said, okay, well, we want her, we want her. And she said, well, she comes with something special. And I initially thought that maybe she was handicapped or there was something that she had a disability. So I said, that doesn't matter. My background, I'm a nurse. Um, we don't care. You know, we'll love her no matter what. And she said, well, her special little thing is two years old. And I was so excited. And my son, um, who is my, was my nephew, um, I said, oh my God, they've got two, a two and a four year old. And he was jumping up and down and excited. And he said, yes, yes, we want them. So we, when we got to meet them, we already thought they were gonna be part of our family forever. So when I saw them, I thought, this, this is gonna make the life I want, the children I want. And I start loving them there. We met Jaden at church um, a couple years, what, five, five yeah. or so years ago. She was this little preteen, <laughs> <laughs> tween, you would say, just spunky, jumping around, doing random splits in the middle. Everywhere, of the... just splits everywhere, <laughs> just nonstop just singing, funny. which that yeah. hasn't changed. I feel like that's what one of the things we'll always remember about like one of our first encounters with her is just that, that funny, like spunkiness to her. We met at church and my former foster, foster dad had said that someone wanted to meet me and I was like, this is kind of weird. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah, sure. And I had loved to sing and I like sang all the time. And um, we had met him at church. I had met my dad and he wanted me to sing a song to him. And so I sang a song to him and that was the first time that I met my dad at church. And then I had met my mom at church the following week. I thought my dad was the funniest person I had ever met. And I thought he was so cool. And they were younger like than my foster family who I was previously with. And they, like I was just really able to relate to them. And every single time I would see them, we would always do something like really fun. So it was just, it was a lot of fun hanging around them. So we got a license, I got my license in May. We met Kiran in June, he was living with us by July. He was already ready to be adopted. And so um, he just, our family just meshed together. I mean, it just, it was just complete at that time. Um, we were just so happy to have him, you know, cause I had my son now and I had my oldest daughter and it was just, it was just priceless. Um, when we got Caleb, um, uh, he was five months when we got him and it was just, you know, a new baby in the house and you know, the happy-go-lucky joy and stuff with that and stuff like that. So he came up for adoption, so we were able to adopt him. Then with his uh, siblings, as they came along, we were able to adopt them. Our princess Kiara picked her up straight from the hospital and brought her home and um, uh, she was the, the girl. We had all these boys and now we had, finally had this girl. So she was Princess Kiara and she has, um, she has been the princess of the house ever since we got her. And the boys, they cater to her hand and foot. <laughs> they compliment her all day long. She's a very confident little girl thanks to her three brothers. <laughs> um, the younger sibling, then Caden, he was a day old when we got him. He was just so small and just so petite and so fragile. And so, um, uh, you know, we just, just catered to each and every one of them and just uh, spoiled them and loved on them and just, just what you do with little people. <laughs> that was a roller coaster ride for sure. Yeah. 
Our process wasn't one that was predictable by any means, as a lot of adoption stories aren't. Um, but I, yeah, it was, I would say it was a roller coaster. Um, a lot of emotions involved on, yeah. on everybody's part. But like Logan said in the beginning, we just felt like this is something that we're called to do. I was obviously upset because I wanted to be able to stay with my biological family. I was very close with my mom and it was really hard at first, but there was also another side of it where I was very excited and I was, because I loved them and I loved hanging out with them and I knew that it was going to be okay and I knew that it was going to be um, a better situation, but I was also very sad that I wasn't able to stay with my family. When we were told that we were going to, that Jaden was going to be our daughter, not just our, our foster daughter, but our adopted daughter, uh, or inevitably our daughter, um, it, it was almost like we didn't believe it because we were told that, not necessarily told that it's going to happen for sure, but we were, also, we were always told like, well, we, we're not really sure what course this is going to take. We're not sure if, if this is going to go this way or if it's not going to go this way. There might be another step. So for us, it was a roller coaster ride because every time we, we kind of personally felt like it was for sure, it wasn't. And so I think by the time that we were told, like, we're going to go through adoption this time, I don't think we believed it until the day that we were in the courthouse, like, sitting there going, oh, wow, this, is, this, is, this is real. Yeah. When I found out that Terry was going to adopt me, I already was with her for a, a little while. Um, and so I was very excited that she was going to adopt me and that I would have a family to be with. I was ecstatic. I mean, I couldn't get off the phone fast enough to call my family and to tell my son because we were every night we would kneel down and say a prayer to bring our girls back home. We knew already knew we was going to adopt Kron, but the other ones um, coming after that, you know, the, the not knowing for a while is, you know, what's testing. Once we got to adopt Caleb, you know, it was kind of, you know, um, kind of, you know, I guess we figured we'd be able to adopt the other two, but um, we've had some that we weren't, weren't wanted to adopt that we haven't, and it's very, um, <laughs> it's very traumatic. It's a very traumatic experience to let go of a child that you've become so attached to and that you love so much. Best day ever. Besides the fact that my slip fell off off my dress, and somebody said your slip fell off, <laughs> so I walked out of it. Um, but it was the best day. Adoption day for Kron. Um, like I said, we were just so excited to get him, and we were just—he was ready to adopt him when we got him. We were so excited to get him, and we were just—it's <laughs> indescribable, you know, how excited we were. So that adoption day and making that final was just priceless. A very fun day. We had woke up and we had gotten all ready and my mom curled my hair and we had planned the outfit the night before and I was very excited because I got to wear some one of her shoes. And um, we, my dad had bought us matching rings, my mom and I, little promise rings, and we, he gave those to us. And my parents had gotten me a necklace, which I'm not wearing it right now, I should have worn it. Um, they got me a necklace with the date, our adoption date engraved in it. Such a good day. Um, I remember it being cold and overcast and, you know, November. Caleb was Caleb. Caleb has always been a very, um, very uh, intriguing, very, uh, <laughs> very, um, <laughs> what the word I'm looking for. He's something. <laughs> He's something. And so, um, as a, you, if you look back on the footage for Adoption Day, he, he as, as a one-year-old, he was, he was, he was showing who he was. The kids were excited. They knew that this was a special day. We had family come from everywhere. And we did a private, I mean, it was just us in the courtroom, but we filled the entire courtroom with people. Everyone that we knew was there, like all of our caseworkers, all of the people that we loved and cared about. It was just an exciting time. We had roses that we gave each woman that loved and cared about us and meant something to us, and we said something kind and gave them a rose. During the adoption, the girls sat totally quiet. They didn't move an inch because we got to go into the courtroom and we got to sit with by the judge on his in like on his chair but the the judge did a great job for us in introducing the kids he gave us little pencils that had two erases on each side to look like a gavel and i was off, i was very nervous but very excited at the same time and i just i was watching the other people get adopted and i just couldn't wait to get up there and just make it official it was just a really good day and when the judge 
I hit his gavel and said, you know, they're adopted. It was the whole, I mean, all my family start clapping. And it was a wonderful thing. They start laughing and people start coming down out of the, of the back just to give them hugs. And it was, a, it honestly was a, the, one of the most memorable, day, memorable days I've ever had. Yeah, it was an event and it was fun and it was lighthearted and um, it was just so final and it felt really good. It were just um, moments in our life that made it final that, you know, this, you know, that nobody can come and take you away. You're mine. And, you know, this just, it's, it's complete. <laughs> to have my sister be with me when I was ad being adopted, it was wonderful because she was someone I already knew and um, we were like going through the same thing. So I could always talk to her if I felt scared or, uh, mad about anything well it means a lot because i got to know her because if we got separated i wouldn't know her i wouldn't even know her name really because i wouldn't have she wouldn't have been here with me so for her to be here with me and to get adopted with her it means a lot it means that she loves me even when we're mad at each other, that she's always gonna be there for me. It's already enough to be in the system and then um, be separated already. But you know, it's, it's, it's very important, I believe, to keep the kids together as much as you possibly can. If I were to describe my family in one or two words, it would probably be um, very fun. We do a lot of fun things and um, adventurous and I would also say very, very loyal. We are very, we're very tight as a family and we just love each other and we're very loyal to each other. So I would definitely describe my family in those words. I would describe my family as loud. Kind and loving. Kind, smart, proud. Well, they like to feed me a lot. Joyful and happy. Really, really, really annoying. With three boys, it's annoying. Chaotic at times. We always work together and help each other. Kind. They make me laugh. Joyful. Supportive. Supportive. And loving. That they're nice to me and they love me. Sweet. Compatible. Loving. It's never a dull moment. And we always look out for each other. Everyone's great and they're just the best. I think that our family is full of grace. A lot of forgiveness when something happens where we weren't ready for it. Faith-based. Energetic. Very loyal. We are very, we're very tight. Hardworking. Very fun, adventurous. We just love each other and we're very loyal to each other, so I would definitely describe my family in those words. I would say adventurous. I, I would say that going on trips with each other and, and doing road trips from Florida back to Ohio with a relatively newborn as well <laughs> was something that like most people wouldn't sign up for, but it was something that we wanted to, to do. My first favorite memory that I had after I was adopted by Terry was when we went to Myrtle Beach on vacation. We have a lot of funny stories. When you have a preteen or a teenager in your house, your life is just filled with funny stories and... And unpredictability. So J Jaden actually is getting ready to drive. And so we did some pre-driving lessons and we're in an empty parking lot. Um, <laughs> Not funny to me, but it's probably funny to other people. But we it's funny to me because I wasn't there. <laughs> the only light pole in the entire parking lot, I think we almost hit. Um, we found out that the, the gas is on the right and the brake is on the left pretty quick, a little too quick. Um, we have you have stories. to turn around yeah. or look in the mirror when you're reversing. <laughs> a fun memory of my family is when before I got adopted, a caseworker came to get me and Cadence for, um, to take us back to our mom. And Jasper, the, my older brother, he uh, was yelling at the caseworker and telling her not to take us. It made me feel happy. I 
um, we do we do respite and we are um, we do also fostering and we have a little boy that we do respite for and he was about eight months old and when he would cry both my girls and my my boy would they would get up and they would dance around and they would do this I don't even know what it is it's called a um, sticky sticky um, what waffle sticky sticky waffle and they would be they were jumping around that baby was laughing and I swear they did it for an hour and a half I don't know how they can continue continue to do it but every time they did it that little boy laughed and when he laughed I mean we were all we were all we enjoyed it so much but just the sticky sticky waffle thing I mean who would have thought of that I mean maybe that's a real story I don't know we did this fourth of July party here and we invited everyone. And I also remember the bonfire with my uncle Shendo. We had that here too, and a whole bunch of other parties. Um, and then I was p partying with my family. She was like dancing like when he was in the olden days. Well, yeah. So my so when all of our family is gathered around the table for Thanksgiving, everyone is joyful, and that's what I like about my family. We had got uh, K-Ron, which is my oldest son, who's not 11, got him, he was one. When he's about two years old, they called us for um, Caleb. And Caleb was five months old, and so um, you know we were all happy, go lucky for the fact because we had adopted, we were, had adopted K. Ron, and we were just you know on cloud nine, whatever that. And so they called us, and it was like, well, we have a five month old, we don't know what's gonna happen, you know, do you wanna? You know, I said, yeah, sure, why not? What's one more? So as we're going out, we were in the middle going to a volleyball game for my oldest daughter. I said, and so as we're going out to go pick him up from the agency, K. Ron went with me, and so we got him in the car, and we put him in his car seat, and we're on our way to the game. And so K. Caleb, K. Ron looked at me and he said, Mommy, he said well, this is my baby, where's your baby at? <laughs> and I said, well, I guess I don't have one. <laughs> Every once in a while we go shopping, she lets me buy something. Even if I bring my money and I say I'll pay for it, she does it for me. She takes us on vacation. But we went to the mall and there were these boys sitting at a, like a bench in the mall. <laughs> I had no idea that he was going to do this, but my dad had walked up to the boys, and I thought that he just knew them, but he was actually telling them to wave to me because I really liked them, and telling them to talk to me. And as soon as I found out that he said that, I was so embarrassed. So I ran into this store, I didn't know what the store was, and I hid behind a rack. And turns out it was actually like a store for like older women. And there was an old lady picking out an outfit, and she looked at me, and I was crouched down behind a rack. And I like ran out of the store and my dad and my mom were like standing there and I had to talk to the boys and it was so embarrassing but it was so funny and I would definitely will never forget that. <laughs> I would say my advice to anybody who's looking to adopt would be be ready for anything um, and everything because even though you don't know what the future might hold or what you know, your family might transform into or how everything might go, um, to just stick together, keep working, keep trying, um, and just be open to learning more and growing. If you are considering doing it, to, to, um, to definitely look into it, to definitely um, research it out, um, to try it, to try it, because you, it's life changing. It only changes your life, but it changes the life of a child. I'm happy. I would like I would stand on top of a building and, and, and yell out that I adopted kids and we would adopt as many children as we could get. We're we're not saying that we would never adopt anybody else because we've always wanted to. It's not easy, but it is worth it. So just be willing and ready to be on uh, a journey. I thought that if I were to be adopted into another family, my other family wouldn't be my family anymore, but that is definitely not the case. I still you're just, you're just adding on to it. So I would definitely say that um, adoption doesn't mean that you're losing your family. It just means that you're adding on and everyone loves more, right? Like we love everything to be more. So I would definitely say that um, you should, like, there's nothing bad about it. You're just adding on to your family. Don't be scared because your family will always love you no matter how they treat you, even if they're like strict 
or they might not say I love you all the time, that doesn't mean that they, they don't love you. It's really important because you have to show them that you love them back. You have to so mom and dad, I just want to say thank you for everything that you've done for me and I love you so much and I just, I really, really appreciate you being there through all the tough times and through all the good times, especially the tough times. There were many of those throughout this and I just want to say I appreciate that so much and I love you guys and thank you. Jaden, when we adopted you, we had no idea what was in store for us. We had no idea about all the great times, all the difficult times. We had no idea what it'd be like to, uh, for me, to sign somebody up for cheerleading and to watch you grow, not only as a young woman, but becoming a woman. And I want you to know we are proud of you. Every effort you make to become a better person, uh, to be a better leader, to be a better person in our house, um, we love you, we care for you, and we're so glad that not only we were willing to make this journey, but you are also willing to be a part of this journey in our family as well. Jaden, we love you so much. We are so proud of who you're becoming, um, even from when you were this awkward little preteen to the woman that you're becoming now. Um, you're just becoming more confident, more aware of yourself, more sure of yourself, and we couldn't be more proud of you and to call you our daughter. Mommy, you're nice, you're funny, um, you're lovable, um, you're kind. Mom, I really enjoy your company. I think that you are the best and there's no one greater than you. I hope we can be happy forever. I love you, and you're the best. Mom, I love you. Hey kids, um, you know mommy loves you more than anything, and like mom, you, like mommy always tell you, I will mess somebody up over you. <laughs> um, I am so grateful that God chose me to be your mother. I'm so grateful that you're in my life. I couldn't imagine life without you. Um, you've been one of the greatest things that have ever happened to me, and I love you more than words could ever say. Mom, I thank you for, give it, for giving me a loving and caring family and adopting me and always being there for me. My message to my girls is that you make my heart happy. You give me the things that I have dreamt about having. You might not always be good, but I love you. I love you, Mom, and I always want you to know that even if I do yell at you, I just want you to know that you'll, I'll always be there for you.